Hello everybody, welcome. Today we're going to be going over this, well, we're going to be going over a teleport UI. Someone, re well, they didn't directly request this, but I got an idea for this video. It's pretty simple, it's a very simple tutorial, should go by very quickly. So basically, I made a teleport UI, the link's in the description below if you want to grab it. So here's the code for the core thing, I'm gonna, just going to go over the code a little bit. So basically, this gets everything, and scroll out parent get children, so basically everything in mainframe, it'll get all these. It'll get this, 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 I mean, I mean this, and this. It'll only get things that are text buttons, as shown by this line of code, uh, when it when the button gets clicked. So, basically, uh, this, this V thing is the actual objects being chosen, so, and if it meets this, uh, sh um, if it meets this, um, standard, basically, or if it goes through this if statement, then if it gets clicked, if one of those buttons get clicked, and then, well, these are all the variables. And script up parent up parent up parent. What that means is, okay, so this, 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 and the parent of that is the player. Character is player dot character. Level is basically the level value. You can change this if you want. If level is greater than the level requirement value, which is inside the button, then it'll go on and it'll actually teleport you, and it'll go to the coordinates that are selected, or are basically in this value. So you can configure that right there, and you can also configure the level requirement right there. So yeah, it's pretty very basic tutorial. I don't know why. Okay. Um, what else is there? Uh, by the way, yes, I did use a RuneScape asset for this. I could not find anything else to really use. If you, you can make your own um, button for this, and it's pretty simple, really. Just change the image ID, subtract it by one, put it at the end of this RBX asset ID thing, and then you should be set. And one more thing, the opener is as simple as code can pretty much get. If it's closed, it'll open it. If it's open, it'll close it. So, yeah, I talked really fast. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, well, I don't know, like it, I guess, I don't know. If you don't subscribe, then I will turn into something, I don't know. Um, okay, see ya, bye.